Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Whatever am I going to do with you? Aside, continue to clown and expose you for the complete fraud and joke that you are, of course. For those unaware, hip hop is at it yet again. Somebody gave a review score to Horizon Zero Dawn that he didn't approve of, so he sent his dumbass fanboys to harass this reviewer. This dude just doesn't fucking learn. So all this gets out in the open on Twitter, and BG, the head of the Weapon Wheel podcast, chimes in basically saying the obvious thing any rational, level-headed individual would say. Hip-Hop then tried to make excuses for himself, saying, You just don't know why I do what I do, and offered to come on the Weapon Wheel podcast to explain himself. As you can see here though, I was having none of that, and I made it perfectly clear that he could give whatever bullshit excuses he wants, because that's all they are. There are no valid reasons he could provide to justify his actions, and I made it known that if I was able to, I'd come on to Weapon Wheel Podcast at the same time Hip Hop would, and massacre him for the listening pleasure of thousands. He then decided to post an explanation for his actions on Facebook, which is what you're seeing on the screen right now. I promised I would destroy him if we ever got onto Weapon Wheel Podcast together, but since that really ain't an option due to conflicting schedules, I figured I'd go ahead and do so with this very video since he's decided to attempt it to explain himself. So, let's fucking do this. Yo, 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 listen to me right now, Brooklyn style, shots fired, bang, bang, a message to my gamer family. Are you all familiar with Chef Gordon Ramsay or Damon Dash? Okay, the passion and approach to food and restaurants, hip hop culture are very, very parallel to how my passion is for gaming culture slash industry, etc. Bang, bang. Since you wanted to bring up the hip hop culture, let's go ahead and get this out in the open, hip hop. I ain't gonna call you by your government name, cause quite frankly, you're subhuman trash who is unworthy of being talked to as a human being, and will continue to be till you prove otherwise. So, henceforth, I'm gonna call you by your corporate cum dumpster name, which is 20k ROMs. Let's get this straight right here and now, 20k ROMs. You ain't even doing a good job of repping the hip hop culture, at least in its current state in mainstream music. No, see. What you're trying to rep is the gangster culture, the street culture, the hood culture, the ghetto culture, whatever you want to call it. With all this bang bang, shots fired, Brooklyn style bullshit you spew on a regular basis. Now there is a subgenre of hip hop known as gangster rap that more accurately fits what 20k ROMs is trying to emulate. But there's a bit of a problem there. I took a look at some of the recent playlists for Hot 97 FM, which is the radio station that employs his dumbass. You want to know what I found? Found a bunch of Rihanna, Drake, Nicki Minaj, Fat Joe, Jay-Z, and other assorted mainstream hip-hop artists. Guess what I hardly found any of? Gangster rap hip-hop artists. And you want to know why I didn't find any? Because gangster rap hasn't been culturally relevant in mainstream music for close to two decades now. So we've now established that when 20k Rom says he represents the hip hop culture, he's fucking lying. He's trying to represent a small subset of hip hop culture that hasn't been relevant for many, many years. So not only is he a detriment to the video game industry slash culture with his anti-consumer rhetoric, which we'll get to here in a second, and not only is he a detriment to the hip-hop culture he claims to represent, he's a detriment to his own race, too. Oh yeah, I'm going there. Black Bond ain't the only one that could call out moronic acting black people for their thuggish behavior. With this bullshit ghetto hood mentality you display, 20k ROMs, all you're doing is perpetuating the stereotype that black men of your kind are nothing more than menace to society, low-life pieces of shit. And before anybody tries to pull the racism card, let me ask you this. If I was a racist, would I have agreed to be a panelist for the CSAs with other black men such as Dark Cloud, Omega Loser, Kid Smooth, and even the fucking host, Black Bond? 
Yeah, exactly. Not to mention that there's white people that act ghetto as well as Latino people and Asian people. And all of them are a disgrace to their respective race. People that act like they ain't got no damn sense and then want to cry about being racially stereotyped as well as the people that defend them can all suck a sick dick. And by sick, I don't mean size. I mean full-blown AIDS. On top of all that, he doesn't even do a good job at repping the gangster culture. A little-known YouTuber by the name of Siegfried Ignigmad made a video about 20k ROMs that I'll link in the description, and he hit the nail on the head. Roll the footage! But even if we move and brush that off right off the frame, we have to come to the real issue here. You see, even after all that, when people come after you and say that you're dumb, that you're wrong, and why are you taking it so seriously, you then say, nah, dog, you gotta understand my culture, your culture. You want to talk about the hip-hop culture. You want to talk about street culture, the hood culture. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are living in the hood right now, none of you give a fuck about what people think of a movie, a video game, or let alone what an internet website has to say about a video game score. That's not part of your culture. Let alone you're going to ride on somebody just because they gave a video game not the score that you would give the game. Matter of fact, there's many people out there who've given the game an 8 out of 10. She gave it a 7.7. .7. So that point .3 has triggered you so much to the point where you feel so, oh man, I gotta make this video oh my god i gotta i gotta call her out i gotta cuss at her i gotta say she's a piece of garbage she smoked crap that's what you do that's what's good in the streets but the point is i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you live with this okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna let this mistake happen but don't let it happen again because you want to sit out here and you want to talk about street culture when a lot of people who are actually in that street culture right now they're not worried about the internet because they don't have that wide access to the internet there's a lot of people in the hood, in impoverished areas, the people that you want to try to quote unquote impersonate, be like, rep, be that street life, you know what I'm talking about? They don't get Xbox Ones. They ain't running out trying to get PS4s. They ain't going out on Xbox Live and PSN They really give a damn about the latest and the greatest. So stop this. You're trifling. You're being childish right now. And you want to sit here and you want to start this video off with, oh, this needs to be the most viral video on the internet. Stop. You're embarrassing everyone. Stop it. So what we're dealing with here is a fraud as a gamer, a fraud as a journalist, a fraud as a figure of the hip hop community, and a fraud as a figure of the gangster culture. I'd even go so far as to say that he's pretty much a fraud at being a fraud. And spare me the worn out, he's portraying a character defense. Yeah. Because him portraying a character while trying to be a legit video game journalist totally aren't at cross purposes with each other, right morons? Him sending his army of anus looking clowns to harass reviewers he doesn't agree with is totally part of the act, right? Fucking idiots. Let's move on to the meat of the matter. His video game journalism fraudulence. Yo, understand this, dog. If I don't like something, if something don't make sense to me, if I see someone in a powerful position abusing the culture, it all matters to me. Bang, bang, shot fired. Someone in a position of power abusing the culture. Fuck does that ever sound familiar. Seriously, I remember some shit stain who happened to have a high profile gaming journalism job for one of the top radio stations in the country spew a bunch of anti-consumer diatribe about how gamers were entitled and spoiled because they complained that Capcom put out Street Fighter V in an unfinished lack of required arcade mode state. I also recall this same shit stain tried to compare the negative critical reception of the Order 1886 to racism that black people had endured many many years ago. Damn, I wish I could remember who that piece of shit was. Oh, that's right, it was you. You don't have a single leg or any ground to stand on when talking about people in positions of power abusing the gaming culture slash industry, you hypocritical cocksucker. Opinions are meant to be challenged because certain opinions aren't valid. Word up! Wow. 20k ROMs actually said something that's 100% factually correct. I'm actually rather impressed. I agree that no opinion is above reproach, and that there is such a thing as invalid opinions. But alas, as per par for the course for 20k ROMs, 
Taking a peek under the surface of this factually correct statement exposes a mountain of putrid, rancid bullshit. Let me tell you where it is you fucked up, 20k ROMs. Your whole idea of what constitutes an invalid opinion is in itself invalid and foobar to the 100th power. You not agreeing with final review scores regarding certain games from critics that finished said games doesn't make their opinion on said games invalid. And the fact that you send your brain dead fantars to harass these people online makes it that much worse. Let me tell you what an invalid opinion is. An invalid opinion is saying gamers are entitled and spoiled for being upset that a game developer slash publisher put out an unfinished bare bones game. An invalid opinion is saying a game is a victim of Jim Crow and or pre-Civil War racism because it receives an overwhelming negative critical reception. An invalid opinion is saying that somebody is lying about their review score for a game they completely finished when you had only played 40 minutes of said game. An invalid opinion is saying that playing PC games online isn't free because you have to pay your internet bill, so therefore it's okay to pay an extra $60 to play online console games on top of said internet bill. It's these kinds of repeated invalid opinion offenses that truly paint the pictures of your gross unprofessionalism, why you need to be fired, and why somebody more qualified needs to take your place. See, most journos are being exposed now because they care about the check only and not the culture, you dig? Holy crap, two factually correct statements in a row. 20k ROMs is on a roll. Yes, it's established common knowledge that a lot of these mainstream video game journalism outlets, such as IGN and GameSpot, are corrupt. It's well established at this point that these media outlets will oftentimes base their game review scores on how much ad revenue they are paid by the company whose games they're reviewing, among other highly questionable actions. Having said that, however, the fact that I'd trust any of these outlets with my life before I trust anything 20k ROM says slash does regarding video games should really clue you in as to what kind of fraudulent shit salesman with a mouthful of samples con artist 20k ROMs really is. Nobody associated with any of these gaming journalism outlets have said slash done anything even remotely comparable to the type of off the wall bullshit 20k ROMs has said slash done, and I say that with every awareness of the Colin Moriarty Mass Effect 3 scandal and the Jeff Gertzman GameSpot Kane and Lynch controversy. If he was working for any of these outlets and pulled the same kind of unprofessional bullshit he's pulled over the last few years, he would have gotten shit canned a long ass time ago which goes a long goddamn way in showing what kind of clown shoes organization Hot 97 FM is running in keeping this dipshit on their payroll. Oh, and with the aforementioned corporate cocksucking 20k ROMs has been found guilty of, his statement of journals getting exposed because they only care about the paycheck perfectly applies to what I'm doing to him right now. My goal is to raise the bar on what we love Raising the bar on what we love, that being gaming. Please explain to me how your anti-consumer mentality is going to accomplish that. Be more accountable for what we do. Be more accountable for what we do. You obviously haven't been held accountable for your horrendous actions due to the fact that you still have the job that allows you to perpetuate said horrendous actions. And that's a problem. Now you know why I'm here, 20k ROMs. You've done bad things. And grow in a way where we can have dialogue and learn from each other, you feel me? Grow in a way where we can have dialogue and learn from each other. Right after I send all my idiotic fanboy followers to harass those I don't agree with, that is. I've never been a yes man. You've never been a yes man. Really. You sure about that? 
Because I'm pretty sure the Street Fighter V and the Order 1886 examples I mentioned earlier don't just beg to differ, but rather demand to differ. It's like whenever you open your mouth, you're lying. And I've never ever had a fear of someone's power and position. You've never had fear of somebody's power or position. That's because you've been lucky enough to not have to work for an organization that wouldn't tolerate any of the stupid bullshit you've been partaking in. I bet if you were held to the same standards of professionalism as everybody else and got fired for all your stupid bullshit, you'd be singing a different tune in that regard. That or you haven't had to have any fear of somebody else's superior position because you do such a good job at sucking them off. I call every bluff if need be cause you're looking at and witnessing the realest most passionate voice ever in gaming. Hashtag facts. Bang bang shots fired. Brooklyn style. Oh shit it's the po po. Scatter. You call every bluff cause you're the realest gamer around huh? Far as I'm aware of you ain't even remotely addressed anything I've said about you in any of my past videos. It's almost as if you're ducking me at every turn. Cause you know your bullshit ain't gonna fly with me. Since you wanna talk a big game though, I'm gonna make this extra interesting. Cause I'm officially not allowing you to duck me anymore. I'm giving you exactly one month to address everything I've said in this video with a video response of your own. And I want you to play each excerpt from this video individually before addressing them so your audience can hear what I'm saying in the video you're addressing. So I don't get accused of just doing this to get views and subs. You do not have to mention my name in your response video. You do not need to link to my video in any way. And you do not need to link to my channel in any way. It's your choice if you do, but I don't care if you won't, because me making my audience bigger is not what this is about. Oh yeah, and in this response video of yours, I want you to name all the games I've showed footage of in this video. I mean, you claim to be all about the gaming culture and the realest gamer to have ever lived to the point where you know about ROM hacks of Street Fighter 2, so you should have absolutely no problems naming the games I showed in this video, right? If you fail to make your response video before the month long time limit expires, I'll be doing what I've been heavily implying in my past videos about you that I would do. Which is sending correspondence to Hot 97 FM, your employer, to give them the feedback about you that they obviously need. Which I will show myself sending in a follow up video and encouraging others who are sick of your nonsense and how you conduct yourself to do the same. What will become of the feedback correspondence I send to them, I have no earthly idea. But it will be sent regardless if you continue to duck me like a straight bitch. And if you think I'm fucking around with you, try me. Oh, and if you try sending any members of your fuckboy army after me, they will be dealt with accordingly. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and preemptively dismantle the favorite tactic some of your fantards have already tried coming at me with. That being that I'm jealous of 20k ROMs. Jealous of what? Jealous of what? Being jealous means I want what he has. He's got nothing I want. What, am I jealous that he's a video game journalist and I'm not? I've never had, nor will I ever have, any ambition, aspiration, or desire to become a gaming journalist. So we can go ahead and toss that in the garbage. Jealous of the money he makes? I make enough money to live comfortably and live the kind of lifestyle I want. So we can go ahead and throw that out as well. Jealous that he has a voice in the game industry? That kind of goes back to the game journalism thing. No need or want to be a voice in the game industry, so that's another one we can throw out. Jealous that he supposedly started out from nothing and made something of himself? First of all, he could take that and a couple of bucks, go down to McDonald's, and they'll give him a double cheeseburger. But he better remember the couple of bucks. Secondly, becoming somebody is relative. I don't consider an idiotic lying fraud to be somebody. Thirdly, even if he did start from the bottom and made it to the top in some form, that means fuck all considering what he's done with that. 
which is make the gaming industry and gamers alike look bad. Jealous that he has a bigger audience than me? Rewind this video to the part where I mention that I don't care if he promotes my channel slash video in any way if he makes a response video to this and see if that statement is still valid. I've said countless times that I don't care how big or small of an audience I have. And if I don't care how big of an audience I have, why in the fuck would I care about the size of somebody else's audience? So with all that thrown out, what's left? His ability to make an ass out of himself? Oh boy, that's definitely something I should aspire to be. I sure do wish I could say and do stupid shit like him. Fuck out of here. If you idiot fanboys are going to come at me, you better come at me with something substantial or else I'll make you look like the worthless mules you are. Anyways, 20k ROMs, I honestly don't think you'll even watch this video, let alone respond to it. I really don't. I'll be really surprised if you do either of them, cause it's far easier and more convenient for you to stay in your little safety bubble and label me a hater for ease of dismissal. You can go ahead and do that if you want to, but deep down, you know that everything I've ever said about you is factual. Like I initially said on Twitter, there is no valid reason you can provide to justify the shit that you do. You can make up whatever bullshit excuses you want, just like you did with your Facebook post that I just mutilated with this video. Your bullshit might work on children, domesticated farm animals, and retarded people, but grown-ass people with functioning brain cells can see right through you. And that's why I fucking destroyed your ass in every video I've made on you and will continue to destroy your ass for as long as you continue to say and do stupid shit in order to ruin the game industry. You're a joke, you're a fraud, you're an unprofessional, abysmal excuse for a journalist, you're an anti-consumer corporate slave, and you're a borderline menace to society. The one thing I don't think you are, despite what you claim, is real. But we're going to find out just how real you are. And if you failed the real test, you're going to find out why I call myself the eater of frauds. One month, 20k ROMs. One month. The Great Exposer has spoken. Shut up.